here you can see what the Sangha is writing on their website recently complaining that all the animals disappeared and all the trees are cut and the high grasses are cut and stores are taken away and one truckload the villagers get 230 rupees which is two dollars thirty cents for a truckload of stone this is their livelihood so the sangha is minding this and here you can read about uh, ecosystem and pristine lake and swamps and marshes i will show in the moment what is the truth about this <coughs> but important is to see um, this here you see of contaminating the stream flowing into the sacred lake no less than seven times monks prevented attempts of deforestation of pristine and significant Harkorian Sal and Chisau blah 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 so about the sacred lake I would like to say something so here you can see the sacred lake which is already dried up in 2011 end of 2011 by the Sangha's work on this white house which is Tom John's Kajokpa his uh, concrete palace and in 2012 this sacred lake was already just a mud a bubbling stinky mud full of rubble from the construction of this uh, concrete uh, building inside the jungle so it cannot be that uh, now in 2014 there would be any water and fish which is supposedly died now and look at this petition and look at the photo um, where they are using um, psychological um, manipulation showing you the dry and the grassy land but I will show you in the moment that the grassy land is though yes it is inside Bonjon's yes uh, Korea compound and the dry land is actually the walking path between Halkoria and Ratanpur and used daily was used daily by his own monks and his own devotees and visitors by uh, foot and also by many motorbikes so it's obvious that along this uh, barbed wire fence not villagers but his own visitors are coming and going daily at least this was the situation in 2011 like on this photo this was his gate and the barbed wire fence uh, you see right where you see the yellow arrow so it was not used by villagers but by his own devotees and they are accusing villagers and here you see um, another scam they are showing that wood is cut inside Hal Korea but actually this photo was taken on the Pasa Bridge woodcutter settlement and another similar settlement is on the northern edge of Hal Korea this is the southern edge you see the yellow arrow this is the woodcutter settlement in um, Pasa Bridge and this wood uh, shown in the picture is there for many many years uh, this lotus petal formed jungle in the middle is Halkoria and its southern edge you see uh, on the bottom the two rivers meeting a little above them is Devdaha lake which is uh, a holy lake and uh, and in near that lake was Bon John meditating from about 2007-2006 and so here is 2001 when Bon John was still not there look at how rich was the uh, jungle around Ratampur and Nijgat where he, there had been already many villagers living there and they still didn't destroy the jungle as the Sangha is claiming how is it possible because they are claiming it's the villagers who are destroying the jungles these jungles are very rich still 
but the whole choreo part is covered on this satellite photo. It's the situation is nearly the same, the jungle is still rich and the rivers are still wide. And now, two years after Rambonjan moved to Harkoria, it's 2008, and uh, you see the same jungle already having patches of parts without trees and empty patches. We cannot judge the Harkoria part because that was covered in the previous satellite, old satellite images, but the Nijkat Ratampur area jungle already has patches. And in 2010, already we see the deterioration of all the jungles around Rambomjong's meditation place. Everywhere we see dry patches without trees and uh, dry um, parts around the rivers. It means the water of the rivers is also less. But we still see uh, there is some lake, there is some water in the lake of Tevdaha. But it's very alarming to see even now more and more dry patches without trees just because Rambomjun uh, moved into Halkoria. In 2011, uh, unfortunately, we cannot judge too much this photo because of the shadow which is made over the, exactly the part which we want to research. And this is the alarming state right after Bomjon left Hall Korea in 2012. You can see that uh, practically every water system is depleted. The lakes, the rivers, though this uh, image is of bad quality, but in the next images this is now November 2012, uh, we cannot recognize well in this picture quality, but it doesn't look good. Subjectively it doesn't go look good. The next photo I will show in a moment. And this picture is from 2013 with the Devdaha lake having already a sandy tone, same like the riverbed. And uh, we see many pathways already. And this is from 2001, when Bonjan was still a child and didn't come to Halkoria. Look at the denseness of the forest. Look at the, the rivers, how full are they and how healthy. This picture will never again be seen after Bonjon moves inside. And the uh, whole Korea part is not visible. This part on the right is the Ratampuri Nijkat uh, jungle. This is the same height. And now look at the same jungle on the right. There are patches of dry land. <clears throat> there are many little pathways and all just because 2008 was already uh, present Bomjon there in the whole Korea <coughs> and a uh, huge amount of people arrived to visit him with motorbikes and uh, cars and tractors and so they were also cutting trees and building houses for him and for his devotees. The life became very alive after he moved inside. Now this is the Devdaha lake shockingly losing its water in 2010, which is the golden age of Bumjon's stay in Hal Korea. Uh, there is not anymore that deep black uh, water seen in the Devdaha lake, but we see pathways inside the bottom of the lake, which means that the lake itself is drying and it's uh, marshy and swampy. We see green paths in the lake already. <clears throat> this picture from 2011 doesn't give us too much information, but I included it. And Bonjon 
uh, attack two women in 2012 and one foreigner man and after these events he had to leave Hal Korea and this picture was taken after he left Hal Korea what did he leave behind himself uh, the Kajukpa was still there other buildings had been destroyed by the police but look at the Kajukpa is the white building in the middle of the jungle <coughs> And the Divdaha Lake is dry totally. In this situation, he left and his Sangha left Hal Korea. And his lake near the Kajukpa is also dry. But he left a heritage of a lot of pathways and roads inside the jungle. And now let's jump back in time. This is how it looked in 2011 when I made this photo with a borrowed camera. And this is how it looks in 2012 when thousands of people are trodding already the riverbed and the jungle and no grass anymore anywhere. It's a very obvious picture. Such patches of land had been burnt out to make uh, places for tents and houses inside Hal Korea by the monks and the very devotees of Rambomjon. So it's not by the villagers. And this is a big tent of Mahapranitana in 2011 for which we had to cut the grass with sickles. Uh, all the residents of Hal Korea, including myself, were cutting the grass of the riverbed to make For such computers, which had been in Hal Korea about three or four pieces by the Sangha, they needed electricity. And so they needed a generator, which made a lot of noise. And such houses had been built in Hal Korea dozens. This is the entrance to the uh, house where the nuns had been living and the painter Kaiba in 2011. A lot of wood uh, used to build such constructions. Where did the Sangha get this wood? Who is cutting the wood for them? Did they bring the wood from Kathmandu? This is a bamboo house where the monks were living. Where did they get the bamboo and the wood? This is the bamboo house of the monks from outside. So they say that uh, cutting wood is forbidden in Hal Korea. But uh, we can see that they had wooden houses themselves. They needed wood. The Sangha is complaining about tractors passing the riverbed. But this is the Sangha tractor which was passing from Pilua to Hal Korea on a daily basis, bringing devotees to meet Rambomjon in 2011 and 2012. This is the Sangha's tractor, his own tractor. And this another tractor uh, inside the Hal Korea near the lake of Bomjon when they were building the Kajokpa. Do you see some stones there? Yes, these are stones. They are actually doing the same what they are claiming the villagers are doing. They are bringing stones by this tractor, which was using this left side of the way. Uh, now here you can see the crossed red arrow. Uh, that was the way uh, from the back side, from Divdaha side, they were approaching. Uh, the construction of the Kajokpa, destroying all the area, all the jungle uh, during their path. They made the road for the tractor. Here we can see uh, the situation. Uh, they were crossing uh, from this side to that white patch in the middle of the jungle, which is Bom John's Kajokpa. They were using many new roads and destroying trees and grass and uh, living creatures on their way. Here we can see uh, it's so depleted around his Kajokpa. There is no more water and no more grass even. Uh, it's very easy to see that the building of Kajokpa was a big fault. 
and finally you can see the Kazopa itself uh, because of which uh, the tractors were moving daily from Pilua to Hal Korea in 2011. This is uh, the, one of the office houses built from cement, wood, uh, metal, um, very non-ecological houses of Rambomjon inside Hal Korea jungle. And this, I already showed this uh, bamboo houses for the monks, they also needed uh, material. Here Darshan Suba and Tondorje are carrying water from the tiny spring water source a little behind in the jungle. Daily dozens of people needed uh, to wash, cook, drink, take shower, make laundry, even to give water to the goats. From the moment Bomjon moved in South Hall, Korea, a 13 km long barbed wire fence had been raised by the donation of Mr. Moon from Canada. Inside this uh, barbed wire fence, uh, very unecological, uh, there was another circle, uh, five uh, kilometer uh, circumference. This is what can happen to animals when they catch on uh, the barbed wire fence. Sangha is complaining that villagers are destroying their jungle, but you can see that actually it's them themselves who are building a whole civilization inside the jungle with a village, with houses and with constructions and depleting grassland. These pictures taken in 2011 really show a kind of village inside the jungle made by the devotees of Rambonjan. In spring 2011, Devdaha was still a lively marshland with peacocks dancing, many birds. And this is in 2013, and this was the situation already in 2012 when Bomjong was still there. This is the same lake. There is no more water and there is no more marshland, just dry land. These photos had been taken by me in 2011 to help devotees to find the way to Rambonjon's Hal Korea. This is the path to Hal Korea. You can see that it's already used too much by tractors. There are tracks of tractors and cars, jeeps, motorbikes. And this is the other side of the same Passa Bridge, the southern side towards Pilua. Uh, just compare again the dry path of Hal Korea destroyed by the crowds of devotees of these um, top pictures and again I will show the southern green path of the same Passa Bridge which is like a borderline between the two worlds and uh, just you go a little behind the bridge and you see grass and the Ligli River and forests all green and alive. And uh, even if there is Pirua behind this uh, grassland, but here way to Hal Korea is very dry and uh, very ugly and muddy. So let's see again from different perspective uh, Google Earth images. This is 2001 when he was still not there and this is uh, already 2008 when he was there and we see the huge difference. Many empty patches of land without trees, many little ways and roads inside the jungle and uh, many dry places. Uh, around his place. It was not created by villagers because villagers had been already there in 2001 but why they didn't destroy the jungle? Devotees created pathways and roads for motorbikes and tractors and this is during the puja of Rambonjong. Look at the cars and the buses and tractors. Are they not destroying the jungle more than a few villagers picking up dry wood from the land?
Now we should watch this lake, how it changed from 2008 to 2010 only, two years of Bon Jones stay there. And uh, many pathways and the white strip at the settlement of Hal Korea. And the lake of Devdaha is no more deep, it is just a very thin marshland with uh, even grass overgrowing and pathways inside it. And this is the end. <laughs> the end.